How Flagella Move by Doug Beam Though bacterial and eukaryotic flagella may seem the same, the mechanisms that make them move are actually very different. Let's start with bacterial flagella. A bacterial flagella has three main parts, the filament, hook, and basal body. The basal body is embedded in the cell membrane and also contains the reversible rotary motor that makes the flagella move. This motor is made up of a rotor and a drive shaft surrounded by a bushing. The torque is generated by protons or sodium ions moving through the motor down a concentration gradient across the cell membrane. Here is a model I made. A proton that looks an awful lot like a rock falls through the rotor, causing the drivetrain to spin the flagella. Please ignore the dental floss. The proteins that make up the rotor can flip their orientation allowing the flagella to rotate in the opposite direction. This allows for more complex movements, such as tumbles. Now let's look at eukaryotic flagella. Recall the eukaryotic flagella's structure, paying particular attention to the plasma membrane and the close association of the A and B microtubules in the outer doublets. A couple key clues about how the eukaryotic flagellum moves were discovered by removing the cellular membrane from a flagellum and exposing the inside to ATP. When this was done, the membraneless flagella beat normally. This means two things. One, eukaryotic flagella are powered by ATP, not concentration gradients. Two, the protein motors, called dynin, that cause the flagella to move are within the flagella itself, not at its base. Dynin works by trying to force the A microtubule of one outer doublet past the B microtubule of a neighboring outer doublet, causing both outer doublets to bend. Here is a demonstration of how the physics of this works. Two wooden dowels are held together by rubber bands and a shear force is applied. Since the dowels can't slide past each other, they bend instead. How exactly the nine outer doublets movements are coordinated is not well known, but it is believed to involve the central pair of microtubules because mutant flagella that lack a central pair are paralyzed. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.